family home that is Tainamara in Brodick on the Isle of Arran. Tainamara is a really special holiday home. It's been completely renovated to get it to the beautiful standard that it is today. I've just taken a look around it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It sleeps eight and is bang center in the middle of Brodick with views which I can only say are amazing out over the bay. I've just taken a little potter outside to the front of the house and sat on the bench on the beach for a while and I saw swans, I saw oyster catchers and other little waders. The sun is shining today, it's absolutely beautiful and it just hopefully shows you the location and the views that you can get from this house. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel to get any updates and see other holiday homes like this one. But that's enough from me at the moment. I'm now gonna take you around the house and show you all about it. Enjoy! So as we come in, we are greeted by this beautiful, bright, spacious hallway here. We have a really nice gray and cream color scheme going on here. We've got some local artwork on the wall. First impressions are really important when you stay in a holiday home and as I take you around the house, you will really notice that the owners have really thought about that. So let's go on into the sitting room here. So this is the sitting room here and it's really gonna be the main room of your stay. There's lots and lots of space and plenty of places to sit. But as you can see out there is the tremendous view. So let me take you around this room. All of the furniture is brand new and it's beautifully comfortable and uh, bouncy, which you can see me enjoying there. You won't want to get out of those sofas. You've got an iPod dock there. We have a flat screen television there with a DVD player and free view, I think. And then we have these two lovely chairs which are ideally positioned to enjoy that view. And we also have a lovely big sofa here with that wonderful big footstool, which I can only imagine is very comfortable. I can totally see myself sitting there with my feet up and a good book. Over down here we have a bookshelf with lots of really good books, which I'm sure you'll enjoy sifting through. And there's also a cupboard here with a really good games and DVD selection. So lots of things to do in the evenings if you just want to have a night in with everybody doing something fun. So they've really kitted this house out with everything that you're going to need and want during your stay. So as we come out of the sitting room, we then turn right and we go down this corridor here. You'll notice that the carpets are all really beautiful and there's a nice kind of grey and cream colour palette going on here. Now we've turned off the corridor and we've come to one of the main double bedrooms and as you can see it is beautiful. This room looks out onto the back garden and with that double window there you've got lots of light coming in. So when you wake up in the morning you're greeted with the beautiful sunshine, well hopefully, <laughs> it's usually sunny on Aaron. So we have a lovely big chest of drawers there so you can keep all your stuff really tidy throughout your stay and you each have a bedside table and a lamp so if one of you wants to sleep early that's fine but the, the other person can stay up reading. I've chosen a bed today to do my comfort test in, really really beautiful and this place just does not fall short of quality, it's just lovely, everything from the cushions to the bedding, the carpet to the curtains, just everything is really fresh, clean and beautiful and that's one thing our customers really love and the owners have got spot on. Right, as we come out of this double bedroom, we turn right again and we come to a little set of stairs here that takes us down into the kitchen dining area. So this is two rooms but they're um, directly next door to each other. So we've got the kitchen there and then this is the kind of sociable space here. So that table is um, sitting eight very comfortably there as you can see and it can be moved out into the middle of the room to give you a little bit more space around the sides there. There is a flat screen television in the corner there with a DVD player so you can have something on with your breakfast if you would like and um, there are two lovely big comfortable sofas there for you all to relax on perhaps with a cup of tea. Here is where you're going to find all your glasses, teacups and crockery so you can lay the table up all nice for every meal and it's just a really nice kind of big open space where everyone can be together and whoever is cooking can be in the kitchen here and not feel left out. So the kitchen's really lovely, like it's just in a little kind of 
off bit from the dining and sitting area through there. It's got everything you need. There's a electric hob and oven there and you've got lots of cupboards here with kind of condiments and all your plates and cups and everything that you're going to need to cook with. Um, you've got your cutlery drawers here and obviously your sink is here and like a lot of our holiday homes, the sink has a nice view outside so you've got that fresh light coming in. So it's a nice place to do your washing up rather than not a nice place to do your washing up. We have a fridge in the corner here and up here is just another storage space for your food. So it's really, really nice. I think like if you've got one person or two people that like to be the main cook in the party, they're going to like this space because it's just big enough for you to get on with your job while everybody else relaxes through there. There's also a really nice back door here, which takes you out onto the garden. So if you want any fresh air coming in, you can have that open too. Right, so if we continue out here, we come to a back corridor and directly on the right there is the first bathroom. Now this downstairs bathroom has a bath and a shower, whereas the upstairs one has just a shower. But the bathrooms have been completely renovated, like the rest of the house, to give you a really luxurious experience. The walls and the floors have been fully tiled and everything's just really clean and fresh, so you're going to have a nice experience in both of the bathrooms in Tainamara. Now if we continue down this corridor here, we have a lovely wooden staircase. Um, but we come to another double bedroom on the ground floor, which I'm just going to show you now. So from this view you'll see that there is a lilac and grey colour scheme running through this room. And it just gives that really nice relaxing feel. So you're going to wake up feeling, you know, all fresh and lovely in the mornings. And again, there's two really nice side tables and lamps there. All of the rooms have really good storage. You've got plenty of places to keep all your gadgets, like your mobile phones and your chargers and your books, anything that you've brought with you. And there's lots of space for your clothes as well. So your rooms can stay nice and tidy during your stay. The owners have provided you with all your linen and towels, beautifully soft and fluffy. So you don't need to bring any of those. So we're gonna come out of the double bedroom downstairs and we're gonna go up these red carpet lined stairs here and this takes you to kind of like a family area I guess. So here we have a double bedroom, a children's bedroom and a lovely bathroom. So here is the top double bedroom on the top floor and it's just a nice cozy little room here with a gorgeous comfortable bed, two little side lamps a nice big wardrobe, a chest of drawers and a beautiful view out onto the back garden and beyond. I'm really enjoying the decoration that you'll see around the house, like it's not too fussy at all but it's really, it's really fun, like sun, sand and a drink in my hand. That's all how we'd like to see ourselves on holiday. And you'll notice like all the little artwork and the little hanging decorations that the owners have put in, just to give that extra special little touch. So let's continue out and see what else we can find. Ooh, the children's bunk room. You're gonna like this room, guys. Now, I don't think it matters how old you are because I think that sleeping in bunk beds is fun at any age. Some of you may disagree with that. So we have the top bunk, the bottom bunk, and a baby cot down here. So this room can sleep three. You've got um, towels on each bed, and the bedding is so fun, it's got this like, stripy red, blue, green and yellow and orange bedspreads. So it's basically like sleeping in a rainbow, which is really nice. Back downstairs now. And I'm gonna take you out to the garden through the kitchen. Right, here we go. Back garden.
hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're enjoying our holiday cottage tours so far. It's a new concept we're working on and we're really enjoying it. And so far they have been well received. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel below. You can press the subscribe button. And then if you press the little bell icon next to that, it means that you'll get alerts whenever we post a video online. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Tainamara. We're gonna be putting up the link to the house on our website underneath this post. So make sure that you click through to the link and you'll find it on our website. On our website, you'll find out about the different rates throughout the year. You can read the full property description. You can read the facilities list and you can also contact us if you have any questions. If you want to ring us, just give us a call on 01738 451 610. You can also contact us on Facebook, Instagram, and you've obviously stumbled across our YouTube channel, so you know that we have one of those. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this lovely view of the garden at Tainamara in the sunshine. And as I said, make sure you pop over to their website today and check it out. Okay, bye!